Welcome back. It may only be October, but we are already looking ahead to winter and it's on our minds yeah. for sure. Like how much snow are we going to get? Uh, Topper and the team will have it for you in just a few short weeks. I know you all have been working hard on that yes. and we're anticipating the outlook. <laughs> uh, but uh, um, NOAA also released their outlook as well. And so we're digging into this for our winter season. Yeah, and the big takeaway for us is We'll see. Oh no! You, we, okay. I know, we do know we are in a strong El Nino winter, which really can be great news for snow lovers, but it can also be a bit of a bust as well. So let's start with the basics. What do we typically see during an El Nino winter? During El Nino is when we start to see those trade winds switch directions because during La Nina, our normal oscillation period, we see the winds blow from east to west, pushing all of that warm surface water closer to Asia. But during El Nino events, like we're in the middle of now, we've been in it since this summer and we're going to continue through the winter. We see those trade winds weaken and switch directions. That wind starts to push from west to east, moving all of that warm water closer to South America. So why is that important? for us. It really indicates how strong and impactful both the polar and the Pacific jet streams will be, which gives us an idea of what kind of weather we can expect all across the country. So typically during El Nino winters, we see warmer than average temperatures in the northern part of the country, but wetter and cooler weather through parts of the southern United States. But closer to home, we're kind of in the middle. We don't really typically see a strong influence during El Nino winters. It's typically a little drier than average as well through the Midwest. So here is what NOAA is predicting. All of the areas you see shaded there in green, that's where they're forecasting above average rain fall the deeper the shade of green the more rain above average they're expecting areas there in tan that's where they're forecasting less rain than normal so for us here in the DMV that means a 33 to 40 percent chance of above normal rainfall so okay if it's cold and we see more precipitation rainfall that would result in snow right however they're also forecasting that all of the areas you see shaded there in orange that's where temperatures will be above average for us in DC that means a 40 to 50 percent probability of above normal temperatures, but that doesn't necessarily mean too warm for snow. So we'll have an update on our thinking coming up in just a couple weeks. All righty, Caitlin, thank you. Fingers crossed for very little snow. Oh, that's no. for me. That's just me. That's just me. <laughs> and me. And, and me. Oh, 